That's me, Blueberry. Who else would I be? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh! <laughs> Only a smidgen of a sniffle up, but feeling much better. <laughs> that tea works pretty well, huh? Tea? Sure, um, tea's good. I love tea as much as I love books. Huck's going to be glad you made it. Have you seen him? Not yet. You still sound a little funny. You're sure you're okay? Oh! <laughs> I'm doing super. Just a little... <laughs> Come on. Better get some of that tea. <laughs> Okay, Chiffon, wish me luck. How's your cough, Blueberry? Cough? It's... It's much, much better, thank you. Oh my gosh, you have laryngitis. Don't talk, it'll strain your throat. Good idea. Seen Huck? Still not here. You seem different somehow. Are you sure you're all right? Never mind, don't talk. But could you tell me, just nod yes or no, have you seen Lemon anywhere? She isn't here. Oh, neither is Raspberry. I'll go get her. Oh, I mean, I'll go get her. A party without Raspberry is like, um, a bookstore without books. I thought you were looking for Raspberry. Oh, I was looking for tea, remember? Wow, your voice is better. How did that happen? Oh, uh, yes, well, um, mystery novel lover that I am, uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> hey, I just realized I haven't seen Lemon. I'll go see where she is. And Bruce, how do you like my disguise? It's, um, it's, it's great. Excuse me, in just a moment, I have to figure something out. Certainly. Plum, guess who? I'm really glad you made it, Huck. Thanks. This does look like fun. It is. Want something to eat? Sure. When I saw how great the park looked, it made me think, what a cool place to set a mystery story. Like maybe a jewel heist at the masquerade ball mystery. Huck, that's terrific. You want to work on it together? Definitely. Let me get a pad of paper and we'll write down some ideas. Hey, whoa, hold on, Blueberry. You promised you wouldn't leave me alone, remember? Here, sit, eat. That way you won't have to dance with anybody. But... Guess who? Ed and Earl? Those guys are supposed to be making sure the lanterns don't run out of sparkleberry juice. If they're shirking their work... I'm very excited to get started. Now that we've tackled batter basics and basics of very flawless baking, I am certain you are prepared for today's class. Creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah! Let's do it! Woohoo! It's on! I've got our ingredients. Flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So, let the baking begin! Very creative. 
Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor, mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. Hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! Yes! Goodness. Well, all right then. Everyone step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a sense, sensation. I've got to fashion a fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berry Kid, uh, please try some. Ahem. This sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrican Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Berrican Bloom. After all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Oh, he's so humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh. Great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect! Great idea, Strawberry! Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce from my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever! Hmm, now how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, my jam! Where'd it go? Got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Berry Can Bloom. It's from. Oh, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. <laughs> tell him I'm right here. Left town, out of the country, not expected back for a year or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> my cousin, Bertram. I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? 
Uh, the jelly sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden jelly again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet, using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky. <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting. Problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I gotta find some other words to say instead. I think I have something that'll help. You do, you do? <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar and the ones that mean the opposite. Whoa! And this one? This is my trusty dictionary. Tells you what all the words mean. Whoa! Look at all these words! Isn't it incredible? Thousands, thousands of words. Any words you need, what they mean, how to spell them, how to say them. I mean, it's just... Uh. Enjoy! Oh, Blueberry, thanks! I'll bring them back as soon as I'm done. What can I possibly say about Strawberry's new Very Berry Spice Royale cake? Words simply fail to describe it. Its color is beautifully exquisite, glamorously captivating. Its creamy texture is creamier than any texture I've ever experienced. Soft and silky as a cloud. Yes, dessert lovers, I can tell you definitely, absolutely, and for sure, one taste of Very Berry Spice Royale will prove indubitably and irrefutably that it is an out-of-the-ordinary, unexpected, and may I say, unique cake-eating experience. 
This is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Sounds like she loved it. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to get a bigger thesaurus before she runs out of words. Hi, Strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very, very Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Getting better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Very Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is strawberry shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania. <gasps> I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious and pay attention and follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. Ah, oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. Ah, oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? One more time. Quiet on the set! Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of Merry Mirthful Myrtle Bow! <laughs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? <laughs> Finally! Take 27! How are you whiz kids going to enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark, and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm going to find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gary! Ah! Oh. Can that fruit fractionator? Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitter berries! What happened, Barrick and Bruce? Uh, Sparkleberry strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Eh, uh, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumplin'? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one! Huh? Crossroads, and wouldn't you know it, something happened to the power booster. 
Poor butterflies couldn't slow us down. Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, oh, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The bear kids will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one-girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. 